good evening from night one at Rocky Mountain National Park and this is my view from my tent site. <laughs> I'll explain more later. So I have my tent set up and I'm absolutely pinching myself because I can't believe this is happening. But I am on vacation and I am meeting up with my friend Alex from Trail and I'm going to hike the first hundred miles of Colorado Trail with her, but I got here two days early and somehow snagged a campsite at Rocky Mountain National Park. So I'm spending the first two days of like this Colorado adventure here, and this is the most stunning campsite, I think. I'm trying to like have not crappy light. Um, I think I've had in a national park since... I stayed at Zion like three years ago, so this is insane. Um, can't believe that I'm here for two nights and that I'm going to be able to watch the sunset over the Rockies tonight. Well, I think I'm going to drive into the main part of the park because I'm staying at Glacier Basin, which is in the Bear Lake section of the park, and you need timed entry from like 5 a.m. to... 6 p.m. I think so I'm gonna get up really early tomorrow to get to the trailhead um, because I have a feeling that people try and get there beforehand um, and then crank out some um, trails that I really want to do but if all else fails there's like a commuter lot right across from where I am so once the shuttles start I could probably take it down to the lake but um, tomorrow is like my only full day that I have here so going to just do like the driving part today might miss the sunset here tonight if I'm driving around the park, but who knows? All I know is I need to get out of this tent because it's very hot and it's baking in the sun right now, which is like the only bad part about this campsite, but that's enough of a ramble of what I'm doing. So trail vlogs are back for a week and I'm so excited about it. So more to come I guess we'll see if this is a full trail or full vlog just today we'll see what I can get into so So I just got to Rainbow Point, I think it is, Rainbow Curve, um, and I think this is as far as I'm going to go today. It's getting cloudy and like on and off rain, but also I'm really hungry, so let's go check out this viewpoint and then maybe tomorrow I'll head up this way after I've had a chance to actually look at the map and see what's on this side. I know that if I go all the way... And this road across the Continental Divide, which would be really cool because I did that when I went to Glacier um, at the end of the PCT. So, yeah. And there's the storm clouds. The rain is starting and there's some thunder and lightning, but like this is actually pretty legit. I'm 
I don't know. I'm so hungry. I'm choking on my words. Um, I don't know how to make it zoom, but yeah, it's about to downpour. Um, so good thing I went and set my tent up when I did, but I'm going to go back to camp and maybe stop at one stop to do some, like take some pictures and then, um, make dinner and go to bed really early. Cause like I said, I'm probably going to get, well, first of all, I've been averaging five hours of sleep for the past like week and a half and um, I've been up since 4.30 this morning. Um, my body thinks that it's 8.30 right now. Um, I did sleep on the plane, which usually never happens, but a girl is tired and if I have to get up at like 4, 4.30, 3.30, who really knows, it's it's gonna be a long day tomorrow, but I'm excited. So, I'm gonna rest up. And I'm rambling because I'm that tired. Okay. Okay, so good thing I decided to turn back when I did because this is now hail. Temperature just dropped like 15 degrees. So they aren't kidding when they say the weather changes so quick in the Rockies and you have to get up early and do things because the afternoon thunder showers and just storms are crazy. So I can check getting caught in a hailstorm at Rocky Mountain National Park off of the unwritten bucket list that I guess I had, so, um, here we are. on the menu tonight. Thai curry. Um, by Good To Go. I've never had this brand, but we're gonna try it out and hopefully it's good because it would really suck if it wasn't. Meanwhile, this is my view, which I'm still not over. And then There's the tent pad over there, another view, and pretty bad looking storm. So I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and get this water boiled and at least into the food pouch with enough time or before it starts raining, I should say, because it's definitely gonna rain again. Um, it looks like it's heading our way. I was just up at um, Bear Lake. I took a drive up there just to see parking situation is and how long of a drive it is and it's only like a 10 minute drive from the campground so that makes me feel better about tomorrow morning and you could see that storm when you were going that way so yeah um tent's already wet because it already rained but it's fine so kind of want to fall asleep to the rain tonight not gonna lie that'll really put me out and, and make my Garmin sleep score go up at least because it's, you know, it's all about the sleep score nowadays. So, all right, let's rip this open. It smells good. Um, it just says vegetables. I don't know what vegetables and I don't like some. Hmm. It looks good. Smells good. There's definitely peas in there. So I'm gonna dump this in there and hope for the best. There might be some beans. We're gonna deal with that. Not my favorite, but if it's not good, I have other meals that I can eat. So 
that's all I care about. So I started eating this a little early. You're we supposed to let it wait for or sit for 20 minutes and at the 13 minute mark I started eating because I'm so hungry. But it's kind of funny because like now I'm halfway through and I definitely feel that this is two serving sizes and it just goes to show like how bad my hiker hunger was out on trail. <clears throat> Anyways, added a little bit of hot sauce. I got this mini one at, at um, Walmart because it was like lacking some type of flavor. Like there was spice to it, but I needed like salt and all I had was more hot sauce. So that was a good addition. I'm not sure what vegetables are in here. Um, kind of wish there was some chicken. I could have gotten the chicken pho. I kind of wish I did. Um, but it's not bad. Is it worth the $15 I spent on it? No. Mm, no. No. I think this would be like more of a, like, I don't know, $12 meal. But whatever. Um, it's made in Maine, so like that's cool, I guess. Maybe that's why it's so expensive. But anyways, the wind picked up. I'm really hungry and I want to finish this before the clouds well I can see the clouds going coming over the mountains before the rain sets in and then I just want to crawl into my tent and go to bed so potentially good night maybe I'll film another clip who knows